Okay guys, so in this video I'd like to talk about um, Falcon 4.0 BMS HOTIS setup. And this is one of the first things that you should do when you get into the sim. I even recommend it before your first flight. Um, I think before I even jumped into the jet, uh, I had set these up or shortly thereafter. Um, so HOTIS, if, if you don't know, stands for Hands on Throttle and Stick. And this is specifically a diagram of the F-16 uh, fighter stick or side stick controller, as it's called. Um, this is on our forum here at Wolfpack, Wolfpack uh, Milsims.org. And you can see the entire diagram here. I'll put a link in the video. Um, so as you can see, uh, you want to map all of these. And it, it's important that you do that because that's how the real aircraft is flown. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you're flying the aircraft and you are engaging a MiG or you're dodging ground fire, fire, the last thing you want to do is take your hands off the stick and throttle and get it on the keyboard. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so you want to you want to use HOTIS. Uh, that's why they use it in real life, it, so that you can access essential systems while you're flying the uh, aircraft. Uh, it gives you the capability of, of interfacing with everything from the weapon systems to uh, navigation steer points, um, you know, all the way into to, uh, air to air refueling, um, you know, operations, all with your hands on throttle and stick. So I'll go from right to left and I'll talk about every system. Um, here's your trim. This is the display management, also called uh, the dis DMS or display management switch. Um, Here's your pickle release queue, and here is your target um, management system or TMS. So anytime you hear these terms, um, you know when you hear DMS down or left or right or up or TMS down, that's these are the buttons that they're referring to. Um, this is your CMS or countermeasures management system. So again, DMS display management, TMS target management, and CMS countermeasures management. Uh, in the front, there's a pinky switch. Obviously, there's also a trigger and the paddle switch, which uh, I don't have. I'm currently using CH products. I'll show you a, a picture of that. And then on the throttle grip, obviously, you have your communication switch here. Um, you have your Sidewinder and Maverick Head uncaged switch, which is also the U key on the keyboard. Your antenna elevation, which moves, um, if you think about the radar as a flashlight, you know, it's scanning from left to right. And as it's doing that, then it moves down a sector, and it moves right to left, and then down down maybe a couple thousand feet, and then left to right. That's how it scans. Uh, the antenna is the vertical component of that. So is the radar looking up or down or in the middle? Uh, so that's how you, you can actually control the elevation to uh, set it to where you want it. Um, and you can see that on the FCR. Here's a dogfight uh, missile override. So this is automatic dogfight switch. All of a sudden you jumped and you get into dogfight mode. It, it automatically selects um, either uh, your AIM 120s, your medium range missiles, or your sidewinders, depending on what you have selected. And then the gun and the symbology comes up on the HUD as well. Your speed brake, very useful. Formation flying, coming in for landing. You need to slow down when you're dive bombing, whatever the case may be. And then um, this is your cursor, which is uh, what moves your your cursor around your FCR flight uh, uh, flight control radar, as well as your your uh, HSD or HAD or any number of systems. The blackout switch, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and, and go over here to the uh, to BMS. And down at the bottom here, you could see uh, here's my CH Products throttle. Or, or fighter stick, and here's the throttle. And when I move things on the joystick, you'll be able to see them on here. Uh, and I'll go to uh, setup and controller. So the cool thing here is, if you notice down here, whenever you press something, it tells you what you have selected for that. Okay. So again, from right to left, I'll do. Uh, I forgot this button right here. Okay. That is the nose wheel steering, and it's also the um, air refueling disconnect switch as well as a missile step so you can actually select which missile station you want to uh, use using that um, I'll, I'll go to the pickle switch here obviously you want that trim 
you know, even though the uh, the F-16 does have fly-by-wire and it has an, an auto-trimming system where you just set the aircraft where you want it and the flight control uh, system will, will trim it out for you, it still responds to trim, manual trim from you. So if it's just, if it wants to climb and it just, it's not trimming out the way you want it to, you, you know, you can trim it out and you're constantly doing that. Especially, you'll notice this when you drop ordnance. Let's say you drop a big, you know, Mark 82 off the left wing and all of a sudden, you know, you're going to be right wing heavy. Well, you're going to want to trim that out immediately or you're going to be holding control pressure, right? Anything to make your workload less is good, especially in combat. Okay, uh, here is the um, DMS data management system. And here is the TMS or target management system or switch. I keep saying system, it's a switch. And then here's CMS, okay? A lot of these um, buttons are... Uh, weren't implemented originally, uh, so they kind of were ignored. But um, the only thing that I have, whether you have CMDS drop chaffs or CMDS drop flare, it still will drop flare and chaff depending on which program you have set. So it really doesn't matter. I just have it as drop chaff. It doesn't matter which one. You and then the other ones, it can also control your jammer and your programs, like your um, countermeasures programs. Well, I just use that manually. I just click on the uh, the actual console. So I I have you know I freed up some buttons for like steer point next and steer point previous. Here you can see what what I'm actually doing. Steer point next, steer point previous, and then um, navigation mode and um, you know drop countermeasures. So that's what I have that set to. And then the pinky switch is uh, in the front down here, and that is um, just HOTUS pinky switch. And of course, the trigger to fire the gun. Okay, I'll move over to the throttle now. Um, starting from here, um, I have it's Sidewinder uncaged. You want to have that mapped, especially for the Maverick, because if you don't, if you can't uncage it, you won't see anything. It'll just be black on the weapon page. Um, again, this is true to the F-16 missile, uh, medium range missile override mode. Then you have uh, medium range missile slash dogfight override cancel. And then you have dogfight overwrite mode. So when you go in dogfight mode, it'll change the HUD symbology. You'll be ready to dogfight. So you want to have all that mapped. Here's my cursor, which is this. Uh, it's actually like a mini joystick. And that's what I move my cursor with. Out in the front here, I have antenna up, antenna down, uh, range knob down, range knob up. Again, that's all based on the HOTUS. So it's based on, on the real life uh, specifications. Um, this one is not, uh, this is kind of an extra switch for me. So uh, I just mapped it to air brakes close, air brakes open. Okay, and then the other ones are just view, virtual cockpit and orbit. So I can easily access those just for cinematic. It's not, nothing, you know, nothing other than that. Um, you want to have VHF and UHF, especially if you're flying multiplayer and you're using IVC. That's how you're going to communicate with, with the tower you, using UHF. VHF, that's how you're going to communicate with your flight um, on those specific channels. And then um, again, left and right, um, uh, mic switch r right actually uh, activates your data link, and then uh, mic, swi mic switch left does uh, transmits, I think, on the data link. Um, you know, I can do that manually using the keyboard commands because it's not something I do often, but, you know, so I, I just use it to cycle air to air hard points and cycle air to ground. So that way I can just go, you know, aim 9 to aim 120 and not have to touch the MFDs, and then I can go, you know, Maverick to laser guided bomb without t touching the MFDs, essentially. So it's it's uh, kind of a, a little bit of a, of a sim cheat uh, because it's not how they do it in real life, but it's a lot faster to do it that way. And then um, the last thing up here, I think I covered that. And then in the front here, these are these are not real buttons in the F-16, uh, but I basically just have a uh, autopilot switch, uh, parking brake, and then here's what I use for team speak. Um, so that is that covers the entire HOTUS system. And um, I hope that helps you set up your, your HOTUS. And yours might be a little bit different, but that's the way I do it. And I strongly recommend that you do uh, hands-on throttle and stick. Literally, a lot of times, you know, the only time I'm touching the keyboard after we take off is to get the gear down. Uh, and other than that, it's mouse to click on the MFDs and using HOTUS the entire time of the flight. All right, guys, hope that helps. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.